returned. Welcome back, everybody. Back to Dragon Age Origins. Let's go. As you desire. Uh, where do I want to go? We could go to Bondslands. Did we go here? I don't think we did. Huh. We can go back to camp, but... Yeah, why don't we go back to camp? Sorry, I'm very indecisive. <sighs> Four blights in total. Not bad. Wow. You can zoom out pretty far. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't noticed that before. Sorry, I'm out of it completely. Hello, Fenelgo. Your dog is filthy. I can smell him 50 yards off. Oh. I'm sure you're exaggerating. That may be so, but all the same, I would like your permission to bathe him. Well, go ahead. He is getting a little rank. Oh, come on. Excellent. I will get my soaps, and the dog shall have his bath after supper. Oh, come on. It's just a bath. A little bath never hurt anybody. A pet. No. He's a good dog. So let's uh let's talk with some people. We'll start off with Miss Wynn. Oh, it's been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. Are you alright? Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. You are very sprightly for your age, though. Thank you. You're very kind to say so. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. But there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. Hey. Don't say those things. We still need you. Oh, no. I'm not the sort of person that leaves things unfinished. I'll see this through, I promise. Hey. Have you encountered many abominations, apart from the ones in the Circle Tower? Well, I've heard many stories. You are younger than I, and your nerves yet have some steel in them. Did you feel any fear facing the abominations? Some, but I knew I could not falter. The first time I saw an abomination, my blood turned to ice. It was months before the nightmares stopped. It was the knowledge that I could easily become one of them that frightened me the most. But it is this knowledge that drives you to be cautious. One slip. All it takes is one slip. And everything you are is simply gone. Replaced by madness. And there is no turning back. Or at least that's what they say. You have doubts? Of late, I have begun to wonder if... If there is any way an abomination can be... Cured. Or, if a mage could be so possessed and still retain their sanity, their humanity. Uh, if one retains one's humanity, one is not an abomination. Yes, it is madness and cruelty that define abominations. If those are lacking, if the mage remembers the person they truly are, then they are not an abomination. I never saw that. Thank you for showing me another way of looking at it. So, tell me, how did you become a Grey Warden? Uh... The short story? I met Duncan, and he liked me. Ah, 
You are keeping this tale to yourself, I see. Fair enough. Forgive me for prying. Well, I suppose I could tell you. <laughs> I am interested to hear. It's better than being a castless tunnel rat in Orzammar. I have learned a little of the strict caste system of the dwarves, and I apologize for saying this, but it seems terribly backward. Regardless of what happened in your past, I am glad you found a place with the Wardens, as I'm sure you are too. It's nice to be seen as something other than a brand. Sometimes it gives me comfort to think that everything will end up the way it's supposed to. That it will be all right. You were chosen. You survived the joining when others did not. Perhaps it was meant to be. Huh. I must ask, what does being a Grey Warden mean to you? means I've been chosen to do something important. There's that, of course. But there's more to being a Grey Warden than killing Darkspawn and saving the world from the Blight. Ultimately, being a Grey Warden is about serving others. About serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. You mean to say I serve as a protector? As a Grey Warden, you are a guardian of men. And you guard them because their continued existence is more important than you are. Thus, it is you who serves, not they. I will keep that in mind. A good king, a true king, who cares for his land, uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. He serves his people first and foremost. The king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it, and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. I don't want power. I've never wanted it. If you live apart from others, and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. But if you have power, influence, and strength, your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. Think of how far they will go, how wide they will become, how will they affect the pond. But I've lectured enough for today. I should stop before I wear out my welcome. What's on your mind? Oh, shoot. You know fun. what, folks? I've got to pause this video, and I will be right back. You won't really even notice. Sorry about that, folks. A uh, little interruption never did us any harm. What's on your mind? Are you feeling better now? Oh, yes, and thank you for asking. I'm feeling much better today. Please, let me know if there's anything I can do. Well, thank you for your kindness, my dear. It certainly warms these rickety old bones. What's on your mind? Um, uh, just thinking about being a Great Warden. Hmm. Is something troubling you? Everyone expects so much from me. No one said it would be easy. You are one of the two surviving Grey Wardens in Ferelden. You defend all of us, and much rests on your shoulders. It hmm. may not mean much to you, but thank you for having the courage to continue to fight. Aw, shucks, Mom. I will be ready when the time comes. And that gives me hope. Have you heard much about the Grey Wardens of old? Only what I've heard in the old tales. It was said that watching the Wardens ride in on their white griffins was enough to rouse a weary heart and put the dance back in the step of an old man. The Grey Wardens were powerful, feared and respected, but they also inspired the common people. I remember a tale that was told to me many years ago. Go on. 
The blight had ravaged the land for months, and the armies of the great kings had amassed for one last stand. As the sun burst through the clouds that boiled and churned in the dark sky above, it illuminated a vast, seething horde of darkspawn, with the archdemon at its head. And it was then, when courage seemed to fail, and all lost to death and despair, that the Grey Wardens came. They arrived with the beating of wings like mighty war drums, and stood before the armies of men. And what happened? The Grey Wardens, grim and fearless, marched forth, ever between the men and the encroaching darkspawn. They formed a shield of their own bodies and held that line until the Archdemon was dead and the last Darkspawn lay trampled in the dirt, and then, demanding neither reward nor recognition for their sacrifice, the Grey Wardens departed. When the clouds finally rolled back and the sun shone full upon the blighted ground, the Great Kings knew that they had lost no men and none of their blood had been spilled. I like happy endings. This is a tale about no battle the Grey Wardens have fought, and yet about them all. They have always defended us from the Darkspawn, taking losses so we do not have to. People may have forgotten over the centuries, but nothing has changed. This knowledge has been blessing and burden to Grey Wardens past, and now it shall be your blessing and your burden. What's on your mind? Uh, yeah, folks, I'm, I'm just going through all the dialogue, so if this is a boring video to you, I apologize, but... No, you won't. I already knew the answer. Don't know why I asked. Because you were not looking for the answer, but for someone to tell you that in spite of it, you'll be all right. You wonder sometimes, don't you? If your life would be better if you weren't who you are. A little. When I was a young woman in the tower, I came to the realization that the circle would be my life, and I would know no other. Family, love, a simple life. These were things that others took for granted, that I would never have. And this upset you? It made me very moody. All I could think of was being trapped in that tower with no way out and no end in sight. I started hating my life and myself, and one night I found myself in the tower's chapel. I was seeking refuge, maybe answers. Did you find anything? I must have looked tearful or made some noise, because the revered mother came out and decided to speak to me. And because I had no one else to talk to, I talked to her. I must have said many silly things. But she told me that the Maker puts us all on our paths for a reason. And fighting our intended course is what causes so much anguish. And that made you feel better? Huh. I thought the old biddy was full of rubbish. I was fifteen maybe 16, and I knew everything. So I left, but I always found my way back to that chapel. And as the years passed, I began to see the truth of her words. We were supposed to be polar opposites, mage and priest, but we weren't. There was much about us that was the same. I suppose priests have to give up a lot, too. The revered mother had lived in the Chantry all her life, as I had been in the tower for all of mine. She taught me that you can find your family in the people around you, that you can love your work and find fulfillment in duty, and there is joy even in self-sacrifice. If you put others before yourself, then their well-being is yours, and their happiness is your happiness. It won't be easy to live that way. You can scream and cry and be angry about life as a Grey Warden. Or you can accept it and allow yourself to see the good in it. This is your choice. What's on your mind? 
I will answer to the best of my ability. Uh, Alright, you know what? We have talked to her a lot right now, so why don't we... Uh... Something I can help with? I'd like to talk to you about something. Yes? What's on your mind? You are a traveling do you have tales? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. There's another story. Which one? I guess I've heard all of these. It will come to you soon, I'm sure. Except the Darkspawn one, but... Severin! Here I am. Care to answer some questions? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. <laughs> Here I am. Oh, this should be good. What would you like to discuss? Never mind. <laughs> Alright, just making sure there's really... What do you need? Ask away. Can you teach others to be a Templar? I already said I wouldn't. The answer is still no. Okay. Well... What do you need? Ask away. I guess we already have... really talked pretty much... Sten? Yes. Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. Uh... I am hardly surprised. Very well. <laughs> As you wish. Okay, never mind. Sorry. I've watched a lot of humans in my time. It should be aware that I've decided that it is not much like any of them. Uh, that could be good or bad. Good, of course. It doesn't want to have anything in common with all those other filthy substandard human types, does it? Surely it must come from some superior lineage, yes? Some breed of flesh creature that has decided to elevate its genetic stock above its natural shortcomings? I'm a castless and an exile. Then uh, that must be it. My experience with dwarves is limited, but uh, obviously I need to encounter more of them. I would appreciate if it didn't spread around that I said anything. Humans might start to get the wrong idea. They might start thinking their race is not completely hopeless. Yeah, I'll keep it to myself. Now, let us crush something into a fine paste before it starts to think I've gone all soft. Perish the thought. Right. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I'm sure you... How much money do we even have? Two sovereigns. Great. Grey Warden Hand Puppet. Lols. Um, so let's look around. Is there... I mean, potions we always need. That should be good enough right now. We definitely need more cash, though. Enchantment? Enchantment? Enchantment. That's a tier five. This thing's pretty deadly. Oh yeah. What do we put in? Paralysis and slow. Beautiful. Let's go talk to Morrigan and then uh, we'll cut the video. What do you wish of me? like to ask you something. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Never mind. What do you wish of me? Now I would like to ask you something. If you must. Alright, never mind. I think we've talked all that stuff, so let's just cut this here, folks. As always, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, everybody.